This is what a Japanese supermarket is really like. So today I'm in Life Supermarket here in Tokyo and I'm super happy because I've always wanted to show you guys inside of a Japanese supermarket and I finally got permission. So I'm going to be taking you around, show you some of my favorite items as well as the prices included. So without further ado, let me take you around. Say hey, what what? Yup, I've got full access to the supermarket or in Japanese, super. You don't know how long I've been trying to do this video on the up and up and please let me know in the comments how the super compares to your country and if anything surprises you. Anyway, to the meat and potatoes. So the first thing you notice when you're coming into a Japanese supermarket, you'll probably walk through the produce section with all the vegetables and fruits and whatnot, which is actually quite an important thing. But today, we're gonna skip that for right now. Maybe we'll go back to it a little bit later because I want to show you this first. So first thing you're gonna see is this wonderful seafood section. You can see all of this fresh fish. Seafood in Japan is very popular for home cooking and as you can see you can easily get it fresh at the supermarket. There's an entire section of whole fish in various sizes but being in the city some may consider it extravagant as large anago eel costs 15,000 yen. The red snapper costs 3,580 yen and ishidai snapper costs 6,800 yen. However if you ask the workers they'll kind Kindly clean the fish for you in any way you want. Also, they actually have a tank here where you can order the fish super fresh. They even do ikejime, a Japanese technique performed when cleaning the fish to help maximize freshness. Also, the supermarket offers reasonable pre-cut fish as well. Oh, and I love their tuna section which offers a variety of parts. They've got toro, red meat, tataki, and chopped tuna. I mean, a set of fat tuna, medium tuna, and red meat for 3580 yen is pretty good deal in the city. And since we're talking about seafood, I have to take you guys to the sushi section. And if you just look around, you have all these different style sushi, but you can also get the sushi cake or you can get a piece of cake here and then you can just get like a plethora of different sushi items. Having a wide variety of sushi is common in Japanese supermarkets. They don't only have nigiri sets which are quite popular when you want to splurge for your lunch or dinner but they also have kaisen don which are more affordable at 798 yen or the rolls like this for 680 yen. They sometimes even sell real deal wasabi so you can freshly grind it at home. And it's pretty cool to be able to see sushi being made safely right in front of you. So this is quite fun being able to show you guys all of these different products and all the things that you can get in a Japanese supermarket. So this section right here, if you just look, it goes all the way down the aisle and it's Japanese cooking sauces. They have ponzu, miso, and tsuyu, which is a mix of dashi, mirin, and soy sauce. Their somi no tsuyu is Michael's favorite. Her mom even uses it. They also have a light colored tsuyu like this one. And this one is agodashi, made from flying fish. The soy sauce section is insane. I love their premium section from different manufacturers. This one is gluten free, owari no tamari. This is dark dashi flavored soy. They even have soy sauce designed for egg over rice. You even have these unique soy sauces like a uni shoyu. You have a kaki oyster soy sauce shoyu. Niniku which is garlic shoyu. So there's just like so many different varieties for soy sauce. And then oh I just want to show you this one here. This right here is kurozu which is like a, a vinegar. Like a black vinegar and it is blueberry flavor. I drink this all the time. It's supposed to be really really healthy. I put it in my shake, mix it with my vegetables and whatnot. And it just adds a little nice flavor to it. Now let me show you the miso section. Here you generally find lighter colored miso called shiro miso, super dark red miso, and ones in between those two which are considered red miso. Michael switches brands around, but this has to be her favorite, Maronuji Tanita Shokudo Miso. Oh and for easy use, they also have freeze dried miso flakes and liquid bottles. 
now let me show you one of my favorite sections, bentos in the Sozai Deli. So just look at the variety here. You have all sorts of different bentos and the prices are actually fairly reasonable too. Look at this one. This is the rose katsu and it's such a great deal. Within the bento section, you'll find all sorts of bentos. Traditional style bentos, supersized bentos, and organic bentos. It's pretty fascinating to see all the different creations. In the traditional style area, you can find bentos that have grilled fish with side dishes and this one with fried fish over rice with side dishes. I love yakitori bentos like this one and also oyakudon bentos like this. Super-sized bentos, at least this is what it's thought of in Japan, look like this. This is chicken steak with pilaf and this one just has a bunch of stuff, both for only 598 yen. This healthy bento is in the organic section, only 390 yen. Organic bentos generally come with grain rice and lots of vegetables. This section is for sure my wife's favorite. Me, not so much. They also have non-Japanese bentos like bibimbap and gapao. Now let me take you to the Sozai Deli section. In Japan, the Sozai Deli items are often bought as add-on dishes for home dinners, especially dishes that take time and effort to prepare, like fried goods and yakitori. You can even get yakitori here and my favorite is a skune. So yakitori is a very popular Japanese sozai dish and you can usually choose between shio, salt, or a tare sauce flavor. And look at this. They even have these party platters. This one has fried chicken, roke. It has actually two kinds of shrimp, potato wedges, whole meal deal right here. So one of my favorites here is this one. This is wagyu and some minchi bowl. So you have this like minced meat all over this like fried crusty loveliness. So one thing I should note about all of this is that the prices listed today, they may be a little bit different depending on the season or the time. So, you know, just take that with a grain of salt. So now we're here in the meat section and as you can see, it's not kind of like your Western meat section, meaning that you won't find a lot of like thick meats. You'll actually find a lot more sliced meats because in Japan, a lot of people like to do shabu shabu or sukiyaki. So the meats are actually a lot thinner here. Also people in Japan, like to saute more and so you'll find a lot of these meats are sliced. Just look at this fresh section you can see that you don't have any like sirloin or t-bone steaks you have sliced meat. What I love of course is the variety of wagyu beef in the Japanese supermarket. This lovely one is Nagasaki Ikigyu beef and this one is black haired wagyu from Kagoshima and the best part is they offer free gyushi which is a pure wagyu fat and used for cooking your wagyu. It has a unique sweetness and umami flavor. Japanese style barbecue, yakiniku, is often eaten at home, so you'll find bite sized sliced meat as well. Unlike Korean barbecue, the meat is never served frozen, and it's impossible to slice it this thin at home, so people usually just buy these meats from the supermarket. Hey, so before we continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Now now with Fluid Engine, their next generation website design system, it helps anyone unlock their creativity with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. And start with their professional website templates, but then customize it like I did for my website to fit your own needs. Check out my homepage, it shows my latest video for both my channels. If you want to sell products online, physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has you covered. Sell custom merch, Squarespace has you covered. Want to accept online appointments? Guess what? Squarespace also has you covered. So there you go, go to squarespace.com today. For for your free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash paolo from tokyo and get 10 percent off your first domain or website there's just actually so many products that i want to show you guys but unfortunately i just don't have all the time in the world so we'll just have to pick on the best ones that i can show you for right now so this pasta sauce section is actually one of the places I discovered right away when I first came to Japan. The reason being is they have these individually wrapped packets of sauce that you can just add to your pasta and it makes it just so easy to eat. I'm quite into pasta sauce with Japanese twists like Kodro cream sauce and Yuzu Kosho pepper cheese cream sauce. 
Japanese supermarkets have so many different kinds of sauce, it's mind blowing. Since a lot of people in Japan like to eat their meat yakuniku style, you'll actually find a lot of tare like sauces for the yakuniku here. This one is produced by a luxury yakuniku chain called Jojoen. This is a butter flavored one and this a burnt garlic flavor. Not only yakiniku sauce, but you can also find various sukiyaki soups, steak sauce, yakitori sauce, and the list goes on. The only thing that they don't have, at least right now, is my Paolo from Tokyo Premium Kaminari hot sauce, which many of you already know, it's simply fire. You can get it for yourself or a friend at paolofromtokyohotsauce.com. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Moving on. Also, you'll find a lot of different condiments here. You've probably seen in Maiko's like eating videos and refrigerator we have just like a whole bunch of condiments that she has. So one of my favorite condiments is a yuzu kosho and I love to use it on my oden. Here you can find Japanese fermented beans, natto, in so many different forms and flavors. So when you hit level 2 in your Japanese day, which you know took me a little bit to get here, and I finally fell in love with natto. And Japanese supermarkets just have such a variety that you know it's unmatched compared to the rest of the world. And this one right here is like the, my go-to tamago hitter, so it just has like an egg flavor built in. It makes it super creamy and less stinky. Natto comes in different sizes of beans. This one is a large size bean and this one is small. They even have a chopped version called Hikiwari. Personally, I'm not a fan, but my wife and son like it. This one comes with a rice koji sauce. And this one is shiso flavored. At a big supermarket, they sometimes sell these old school packaged natto as well. So this spot right here is the oden and like fish cake section. At one point when I was trying to go like on a diet and I wanted to try to lose some weight, all I ate was oden and fish cakes. And it actually kind of worked, but I don't know how healthy it was. But it's actually like a cool place to go in a Japanese supermarket. And one of my favorites is these pre-packaged oden. All you need to do is heat it up and you're good to go. You can also purchase individual items to add into the oden set or create your own with your favorite ones. For those of you that have kids or maybe some like family members that are kids back at home, this is the perfect place to go because you can get them snacks here or bring them back as souvenirs. So in Japan, one of the most popular characters is Anpan Man. They just have so many different varieties. In fact, Wolfie loves it himself. He usually eats like these biscuits right here and he also eats these like vegetable crackers. They're actually supposedly supposed to be pretty healthy. <laughs> Michael doesn't think so, but you know they have vegetables. So it tricked me. And then here they have all these like little Japanese snacks and like little individual pack sizes so you can bring on like trips with you. It's actually a great again souvenir or if you're just going on the trips with your kids. Maybe if you're going from like tourist spot to tourist spot then you can check these out because you know they get a little bit hungry. You don't have to go like stop at like the konbini or anything. You just have it in your bag and it just makes it super easy to travel with kids. Oh and I can't forget these little crafty sweets kids can make. They have so many different kinds and again perfect for souvenirs. So that brings us to the rice and in Japan there are hundreds and hundreds of different types of rice but the reason why I bring you here they actually have individual size packets you can see you get different types of individually wrapped rice it's actually a really good souvenir gift for those people that like want to get something you know a little bit special from Japan but it's not like so touristy this is like local Japanese rice and you can get them in bags and they come in little colorful packets and people will be just excited to receive them if you look closely you can see the taste chart on sweetness, firmness, and stickiness, so you can choose based on your preference. And when it has this mark on it, it means newly cropped rice called Shinmai. And just a quick little note is that you have these microwavable packets of rice as well, which, you know, during my younger days here in Japan, I really loved. Well, I guess I still use them now, but they're just great if you're in a pinch and you just want some rice. You can just take one of these packets, throw in the microwave for two minutes, and you're good to go. And then in this section here, you have traditional Japanese drinking snacks. They go well with a beer or some sake. You can see here, you got some dried fish, dried squid, fairly healthy. And like one of my favorites is these little <laughs> eggs. These are like my go-to. When I go on the Shinkansen and I'm having a beer and I have just some of these little quail eggs that are usually like marinated in like soy sauce or some sort of like sauce I have. These are so delicious. My other go-to hitters are the grilled ehire, stingray fin, octopus skewer, and cod cheese, just to name a few. 
we're kind of on a tear showing you all of these different places you can go to a supermarket. If I did miss anything that you guys want to see maybe for our next video, let me know in the comments below. This is the sweet section, which is one of my favorites as well. Look at this. I mean, a fruit waffle, little Mekon slices right there. Can't beat that. And then you have this Nama Souffle Dora. It kind of has like uncle cream and you have a souffle, like all like pancaked in the middle, like a sandwich in the middle. Japanese people are all about silky egg pudding and they even sell straight red bean paste. This is Warabi Mochi. And this one is called a uh, fruit trifle. So that's a full tour of a Japanese supermarket. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more from this supermarket, then just let me know in the comments and maybe we can have a second video. And that all said, if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.